Sorry! All right, come on, baby. Come on. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Hope that you guys are, as always, having a great day. Uh, we are back at it again uh, with some crazy content. I don't even know what's gonna happen today, but it's gonna be wild. Always, right? When Steve and I get together, you know that it's gonna be crazy. Boys, we're at Steve's. He's doing something. He's got a certain look on his face. Why don't you explain what we're doing? We're gonna fly. Uh, you saw how well the Blazer did with its debut flight. Yeah. Steve was like, you know what? I gotta try it out. We gotta try it. I gotta try it out. The best part <laughs> is literally, well, no matter how this goes, sorry, I'm collecting my, my, my earnings here. What are you doing? What game are you even talking? What is this? It's bidding wars. So like you bid money and then you, you know, Why? win. Oh, why? Yeah. Because look, I just made money. Is it real money? No. Well then what's the look point? Look at that. 313 doll hairs. Wow, yeah. look at you go, dude. You could buy, you'll buy a new truck in no time. No time flat. Not jumping the Bruce. Not yet. Not yet. He doesn't the run Bruce, quite yet. You think you got air? We're gonna the get Bruce this is, oh. with some air. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's gonna this go. This is gonna be one that we don't care about. We're gonna have some fun. There's no airbags to pop in our face or anything. True. But for now, I guess we're gonna risk the trucks and have airbags. Well, which again, I'm surprised mine didn't go off, but. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so that's it then. That, that's her. It's the Sierra. It's the Sierra. Oh dear God. Out of inspection. So let me let me show you guys here real quick. Here, let's, let's fire Oh, her you up. got it, you got it kinda held together now. No, up top there, here, there. This is the bed. Not really pulling on it all that hard. But she sounds amazing. You're gonna get a little puff of oil. Okay. Oh yeah. A little drivetrain tick, no problem though. That's fine. No, that's just a broken exhaust manifold. Well, that's in the box down there. Okay. Once we get this out of the yard, we'll come over that. Okay. There's a definite safety concern here. We can't just put the license plate on that and tell it how good. Probably. We're almost there. Well, it rusted out completely. Definitely. Well. All right, just rip, go ahead and rip that side off. There you go. Don't get tetanus now. You got your shots? I'm, Do you I'm have your vaccines? <laughs> Luckily, when I had my heart attack, they tuned me up and got Good. me back. Yeah, well, as long as, you, as long as you got your shots. Body work 101, boys, right here. Yep. Perfect. Look at that. That's great. Back in place? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. We could even probably tell with that. The amount of stuff in this yard is just, oh my God, he's really going for don't, don't it. Don't mind the C5 original hood there. C5 hood, you got a street sign over here. I'm sure that's legal. What's this say? Can we keep that out of there? <laughs> oh, don't mind the Christmas tree. What, it now? is April now, so I think you're good to run over the tree. Oh, get right on out of here. Oh, you want to stop for a quick barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Don't worry, buddy. I'll move the tree. For oh, it got smashed underneath, underneath the deck. Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> I'm not sure what the actual definition of the word jalopy is, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure that's a jalopy. You ready? I'm sorry I hit you, by the way. My brakes weren't working. That's all right. I just need your information. Okay, I'll give you my insurance info. Do you have insurance? I am I am so ready to see you this. Just see catastrophic I am so ready. No, I think you'd be fine. You're laughing. Fine. The blazer did it. The blazer isn't rusty. Yeah, he's probably gonna get hurt, but that's okay. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but it's gonna be funny, and that's all that matters. Now the thing about this is you gotta hit it. You gotta be into it. Like you might not think looking at the distance that it would be hard to get up to like 40 miles an hour but it actually kind of is. So you have to be in it and you have to commit. I'm trying to get the best angle, should be right there. 
Here he goes. <laughs> See, that was nothing. That was nothing. That was really good looking though. Something, something did fly off. So, yeah, so smooth, dude. Now you gotta hit it for real. Here he goes, round two. There we go. There we go. I think, I, I think the left side of the bed completely collapsed on that one. <laughs> okay, so the, da the damage is a little bit more severe than I thought. But that's because that? your bedside was already broken though, so it doesn't count. <laughs> oh my. That looks good. That looks fine, man. What are you talking about? I, that looks great. I mean. All right, drive it home. <laughs> it's still running, so that's not the part I'm worried about. Oh my. Wow. Wow. That whole bedside just gave up. <laughs> It said, I'll see you later. You had a strap on here trying to keep it together. <laughs> Job well done. Great job. Now for this upload, I was planning to uh, get a really cool mod for the Blazer. Something that I've wanted from day one and something that would make it uh, a better daily driver. And just something that's cool for convenience and we might still get to that. Um, but my battery did in fact just die. And it's been like dying all day. And I kind of felt like, I kind of felt like it was dying. And I was like, well, am I imagining things or is it really gone out? And it finally just died now. Um, and my first thought was, okay, the light bar might be draining it, but we installed the light bar a while ago, about four, four or five days ago now, and I had no problems with it at all. Um, and then it only started dying today. So I don't think it's the, the light bar. I think what maybe happened is the day before, well, yesterday, I guess it was, depending on when this video goes up. Um, so a day or two ago, when I went through the mud pit, I'm thinking maybe water got on the alternator because you can see in here, obviously, like a lot of water and mud did come into the engine bay. Yep. That's it. God, she was so close. And I think perhaps that's what happened. Um, because the battery was always very, I mean, it's a good battery. It was relatively new, I think. Um, so I, I don't think it is actually the battery and I don't think it's the light bar. I think it is the alternator. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. Luckily, very easy fix. Um, I think they're around 80 to 120 bucks, depending on what, um, depending on what your local store is going to charge you. But, uh, it's a really easy fix. Even I can do it and I'm not you know, a mechanic or anything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take that off, get a new one and see if that fixes the problem. Luckily, like I said, this is really easy to do. All you need is a, uh, I think it's a three eighths. It's like the standard size ratchet, uh, a 13 millimeter. And I think on this one, it's a little bit, the plug is, I think it's a bolt as well. So you might need a small bolt back there too. Um, so step one is gonna be disconnect your battery uh, so you don't get electrocuted. My truck, the air box is in the way, so you will have to take that. You don't have to take it off, but just uh, kind of pull it out from the hole in the fender and then just lift it up out of your way. You got your battery disconnected. Uh, take your ratchet and you'll see a little spot for it right down here. And this is how, so you can see it's right there, right underneath the alternator actually. And this is how you're going to adjust the tension on the belt. So when you push on this, it makes it really easy to adjust or take off the belt, which you will have to do. Might be able to do it with, I can't really do it with one hand. There we go. Okay, so the belt is off and that's that. Now go ahead and take out your two uh, 13 millimeter bolts. Got those out and then just put them back in for the video. So they're only hand tight. Should be two of them, one on each side. This little bolt in the back, you have to take off this uh, rubber boot thing. And then there's actually like, 
so you can see I could get to it now and take it off. But when I turn this, when I turn that bolt, the one behind it just turns as well. So I'm gonna have to hold that with a pair of pliers. Now, ideally, if you had, if I had two 13 millimeter wrenches, I could do that, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to just use a pair of pliers to hold the back bolt. Once you get that bolt out, your alternator is ready to be removed, which sometimes you gotta use a pry bar because it can be stuck in there pretty good, which is what I'm doing here with this wrench, but should come out. Once it's free, you can remove the little plug in the back, and that is the last step to getting the old one out. Done deal. Hopefully this is the, uh, the problem. Hopefully this is what was wrong with the truck. I think it's a pretty good guess. If it's not this, it might be the battery. If neither one of those fixes it, then I really have no clue. So let's hope it's this one. Look at this baby right here. I almost kind of feel bad putting it back in this truck. <laughs> It looks too nice. It's not going to matter. We got to take it back in the mud hole immediately. All right, boys, our new alternator is in and uh, the belt is on. Just got to hook up the battery again and we'll try it out. We'll try to start it up. If we can't, if it won't crank, it might not at all. Um, which I think the ba I mean the battery is pretty much dead I think but sometimes if you let them go for a little bit like they get they get a little bit more life um, But if not we can jump it. We got the D-Max All right, come on, baby. Come on Right up Right up. I think we found the problem boys. I think we found the problem and we fixed it Look at that running good Running smooth, sounds nice, sounds smooth, all on my own, no Steve, nobody else, all on my own, another very successful Street Speed 717 install. Anyway, now that the Blazer is running once again, I can show you what we were going to do. I ended up actually making an appointment at Best Buy uh, to have their install team do this for the Blazer. I had them do the Duramax and I've been really happy with it. Never had a problem and uh, I'm not, I mean, I feel like I could, I could install this. I mean, how hard could it be? But they have the, the piece for it anyway that I would need, like the, the adapter piece so that it looks at least somewhat clean in the dash. But this is a pretty cool little setup. It's, it's backup camera ready. Uh, we got Bluetooth, we got everything you need. And uh, this is gonna bring the Blazer into the modern era, which will be nice because currently I have no way to listen to my music except for I've been using my speaker in the truck, which works pretty good, but it would be nice to have it actually hooked up to the whole speaker system. It was, like I said, the original plan, then the Blazer died, we had to fix that, and this is not for drinking, this is for prepping the surface, if you were wondering. But yeah, we will install this shortly, but tomorrow we are installing something epic on the Blazer. I'll give you a hint right here. Give you a little hint. Actually, uh, roll the footage. I'm not sure when I'm going to uh, use this footage. Uh, you can see this is right after I took the alternator out of the blazer and put in a new one. Um, but I just wanted to, because it just showed up like an hour ago. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys, the rack for the truck has arrived. Again, I'm not sure where this footage is gonna be. So I'm sure it'll be after I announce what we're doing to the blazer, which is a roof rack, but it showed up in this box. And uh, it, this box, like you wonder why stuff gets broken in shipping. Box looks like it went through war. This box essentially landed on the beaches of Normandy. That's right, boys. It's an epic, epic freaking roof rack on the Blazer. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so that video will be coming at you tomorrow. And uh, we'll be installing this with Best Buy sometime really soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.